everybody today I am bringing you a layout and there are three photos here of my grandson he had an overnight with grandma and we made pizza together and the cool part was he is three and I chopped up a bun bunch of veggies for him and put some um, cheese in a dish and he was able to make his own pizza basically we put on he put on whatever he wanted in um, whatever quantity which I love that he loves to cook he definitely does and um, and just that he was able to do that and he's wearing um, one of my old aprons there to keep him clean I put the pizza sauce on um, but you know he's three <laughs> so anyway I have a background paper that is from L studio it's from the let's eat collection and it's called delish and now I am taking a yellow star paper. It's from the Let's Eat collection as well, and it's called Five Stars. And I'm using my EK Success Embossed Dot Punch. I don't know that you can buy this anymore, but it's um, a well-loved punch in my case. And I'm going to use that to create a bit of a border. I did put a piece of gray paper up there um, and it has words on it, it having to do with food and there also is a pizza slice on it so I really wanted to use it. That gray word paper is also from Let's Eat and it's called Yum. And so now I'm trying to decide where exactly I put these photos, um, whether I leave more space at the top of the gray paper or the bottom, um, how I, uh, what I do with that. I'm kind of playing with that a little bit. I'm also thinking um, that I need a little bit more, and I think I was following, I might have been following a sketch from Let's Get Sketchy here. I did not write it down, but I, I'm i pretty sure that's what it was, was that, it, or actually I think it, not Let's Get Sketchy, it was from Sketches in Time. It was one of their sketches. So that's why you see me keeping reach, I'm reaching forward because I'm trying to follow um, that sketch. So I believe it's from the Sketches in Time blog and it's time is spelled T-H-Y-M-E like the herb, not um, as in the clock. And one of the things that they did is they had a double layered uh, back um, border up on top. So I was going to use those labels and then I decided I didn't like them. So now I am using this Bella Boulevard red stripe paper from Color Chaos. It's the Macintosh Strands paper. And I'm going to use this Fiskars punch here with a little scallop to it. And then I'll have a double scallop at the top. All right, so I like the way that looks in the red, pops up the red in the photos. So I like that. I'm, and I'm now I'm trying to get my little paper pieces off my Heidi Swap, Heidi Swap mat. They don't come off very easily. I love that mat, but stuff sticks to it. All right, so I am thinking about using that border strip on the bottom, but the more I look at it, the less I like it, that I feel like it fights it. And then the other thing I'm doing is, I think there's like, I don't want the space at the top and the bottom of the photos to be even. So I'm playing with that a little bit and I decide ultimately just to run my border strips along my, um, my border of my gray paper there. So I just use my ATG to get those down. All right, and now I'm going to butt those right up against the top border there, but I don't, I've had to cut them down a little bit. My printer a lot of times leaves a little bit of white space somewhere on the side of the photo, so my four by six photos are not truly four by six because I have to cut that off. And so I need to usually be aware of that. So I'm just trying to get these even to the side and the top. And then I'll just put that middle one down with a little bit of a gap to the right and left. And I'm changing that one just a little bit. It needed to be moved. All 
and I'm cutting off just a quick a little bit of an edge there and again I'm just using looking at the sketch there what I wanted to do now is just sort of look and see where title was and what sort of embellishments that were on the particular layout so I'm looking at my wood veneers from the Let's Eat collection from Elle's Studio. I love the fork, knife, and spoon there. And then this is a little arrow. And then I'm also playing with a banner there from Elle's Studio. And it was just um, an embellishment collection that they made with wood veneers. I know I'm going to need something behind that. I'm not quite sure what that is at this point. I'm not loving how this is balancing. So I'm trying to explore what to do about that. And I'm thinking the fork, knife, and spoon are not going to work on this layout. So I do, when I opened up another package from my cut-aparts there, I found this little cut-apart that says pizza night on it. Well, obviously I need to use that on this layout. So I kind of like that there. Thinking about it there, I'm trying to think about a triangle, which for some reason I'm having a hard time with on this layout. And I find that little heart and I like, you know, it, my grandson, one of his favorite things to eat is pizza. So that was totally appropriate. And then I little found a little die cut there set that says homemade with, and there's a little heart for love. But instead of using the printed heart on the little cut apart piece there, I put the die cut heart over the top of that. So it says homemade with love there. And we did make this homemade. Okay, so now I'm thinking about where I might want to put my title. And I'm thinking that spot um, to the right of the pizza night would be great. And then I'd have sort of, I can somehow figure out um, a trio of em embellishments by using something on the top there. And I added a little die cut there that says good times because it was good times. And then I heard die cut, it's a wood veneer. Then I added another wood veneer up at the top there. It's an arrow from that same pack from L Studio that says favorites. I know I want something up there somewhere and I found that little cut apart that also says favorite and that could act as my journaling spot. It also brings the green from the bottom up to the top which I think is a really good thing because that it was a little bit too segregated. I think bringing that green up really makes a difference. And then I have a little coffee cup there. I'm not going to use it, but I'm putting that there to remind myself that I need to add a wood veneer into that cluster since there's wood in the other two clusters. I found a little uh, sticker, heart sticker, that's from the Let's Eat uh, collection as well from the sticker, the stickers that go with it. that um, the labels here are from the bits and pieces, from the bits and pieces from uh, Let's Eat. Now I'm liking the red. I wanted to bring out the red in the title, especially because pizza has a lot of red in it. And those are the American Crafts Thickers in the Cherish font and the color is crimson there. I like those because they're they're fairly small for a larger font, but glittery and they're um, a little bit blocky. So they do a really, really nice job in a title. I'm starting it out way to the left there. And I thought I'd move the pizza night die or cut apart really to the right to meet that, but that's not going to work out. And you'll see that in just a second. All right, I have all the letters down. This time I did not put it on my wax paper and I should have because I moved it around quite a bit. I will learn that eventually, <laughs> someday. So I, 
if I put move that pizza and it ends up smack in the middle of the layout from the width dimension and I really don't like that so what I'm doing is I'm moving the title to actually meet that so that it's a little bit off centered it's just a little bit more pleasing to my eye and now I'm trying to get the letters on the letters are interesting in this pack they're not all exactly the same size so it, you know you need to use a common shelf to rest them on in this case I'm going to rest it on the bottom sometimes you can do it on the top but with these I don't think they work very well so that's what I was being more conscious of in this particular case All right, getting that pizza night glued in and I'm just trying to decide how much of the uh, border on the top I want to reveal there and now I'm adding the ATG to the wood veneer banner that says good times and then just make sure I like the position of the heart here Okay, I have that down. And now I need to work on the other two clusters. And I'm just cutting that um, green homemade with love strip a little bit so that um, it, I like the way it um, flows off the side of the layout there or starts on the layout, whatever. I cut that down a little bit. I'm adding my die cut heart there from the bits and pieces. And then I'm adding the wood veneer there. And that's going to give it a little bit of dimension up at the top. So I have dimension with the wood veneers. They're not quite as much as if I put them up on foam tape, but I'm a okay with that. So I have that left cluster done. Now I grabbed my little um, hardware box of wood veneers and I'm looking through my hearts and I like these round circles with the um, heart on it better than I do just a plain heart. But I'm feeling like I need a third element in there and I'm not sure what that is. Those, um, that heart circle there, that little heart is from Studio Calico. So now I'm looking at the stickers to see, okay, can I put, I don't know, a word or what can I do to add a third something in here? And it looks like it's missing red to me because there's red in the other two clusters, but the stickers there don't really have a red that I like. So what I do, this is the um, back of one of the um, it's the back of the package from the journaling tags and there's a journaling tag that said yummy and they put those in a small version on the back so you know what you have so I just cut that out to add that in and that was a um, another a, another uh, scrapbooker on YouTube um, Melanie from designs by Melanie does that with her L studio stuff and I love the idea so that worked out. It was just a little touch of red that I needed. I didn't want a lot there, but it was just, just a tiny little bit. And I think that really helps because it makes the three clusters more cohesive. Okay, so I like that, but I want another element in these clusters to kind of bring them together. I'm also thinking that I want a little bit more yellow in the layout but I'm not quite sure what that's going to be. So what I'm doing first is I'm doing a little bit of journaling there and then I'm going to add sprinkles from Doodlebug in Bumblebee and that will be the element. So look at those on the still shot and the detail shot that's coming up. Hope you're all well and we'll be back with another layout later. Bye.